guys, let us proceed with our series. In this series, we are going to look on how to enable IIS. And we saw that IIS is going to help us to host our website. Remember in the previous lecture, we ran our website by coming up here and you click on this running button. When you click here, they'll open another tab in Chrome. For my case, I'm using Torch browser or you might be using any kind of browser. So uh, I think you remember this, we have to add format is equal to get list since it is the condition which we set here in the code. Then after doing that, the list of a JSON API, API will appear here. So why are we having that question that we have to host our website on IIS? First and foremost, we have to get of, we got we have to get rid of this. Coming here up and you run every time, it is very tiresome. So to get rid of this, it is better to host our website on IIS. So how are we going to enable our IIS on the Windows machine? Simply come here down on the left bottom or you can be having any kind of Windows. You just make sure that you search for control panel. Navigate to programs. Here down there is a word called uninstall a program. And then on the left side panel here there is a certain world called turn windows features on and off this is where you come and you try to enable windows features which are not enabled and iis is among them so when you come here expand this iis information tab there is an icon here with a plus sign and this plus sign means that you have to expand it expand it and then also expand FTTP server. Ensure that you have ticked FTTP, FTP services. FTP service. I'm sorry about that. Also come here on web management tools. Expand it. And also expand this one. IIS 6. This one do not check anyone, anything here. Just tick IIS management console. Tick IIS management, management console only. Let us close this one. Let us expand worldwide web services. In this one, it also has other sub children under it. Expand application development features. Tick .NET extensibility 3.5. Tick also this one extensibility 4.7. Tick sp.net 3.5. Tick also sp.net 4.7, tick CGI, tick ISAPI extensions, tick ISAPI filters. You can pause the video and you tick them. Come here to common HTTP features. Tick default document, tick directory browsing, tick HTTP errors, tick static content, tick web dev publishing. Open health and diagnostics. In this one, tick only HTTP logging, and we close this one. Open performance features, tick dynamic content compression, tick static content compression. Close it, and then come here, tick only request filtering. After doing all this, come here down and click OK. For my case, I have already enabled IIS. If this is your first time to enable IIS, they will show you a certain pop-up. It will be having a progress bar, a green progress bar. This progress bar has to be waited to complete. So you wait for it and it completes until you see the message which says that you have successfully installed IIS. After seeing that message, then you are good to go. Let me close this. So after the installation of IIS, come back here, search for the word IIS. You'll be able to see Internet Information Services. Click on it, and then you'll see 
a certain dashboard like this. So IIS does a lot of things, has a lot of functionalities. But for our case, we are just going to focus on to how to host a website on IIS. How are we going to do that? On the left section of the dashboard, expand this thing, desktop 9N6, uh, blah, blah. This is just the name of the desktop you are using. You have to expand this, and under this, you'll find this yellow folder. Has It contains, a it has a word called sites, and you expand sites again, you'll be able to see the list of the websites you've ever hosted. For my case, these are the list of the website I have ever hosted. But for your case, if this is the first time, I'm sure that you will be seeing only default website. You can come here on default website, click on it, and on the left section of this dashboard, you come here and you browse the website. So they will show you the default page or the default website of IIS. So this website is the one which comes when it is already hosted. So for our case, we want to host our own website with what we have just created. How are we going to do that? Right click on sites. You will see the word add website and then click add website. When you click add website, you'll see this. On this first column, uh, on this first edit text, write the name of the site, food app. And then on the physical path, navigate to the path where you saved your website. For my case, I saved the website here down, uh, workspace, and, uh, food app. Make sure that you tap on the root folder of your website. Click OK. And then come here and assign a port to your folder. For my case, I'm going to assign it 777. After doing that, press OK. When you press OK, down here, they will list the website you have hosted. We, have, we are done with hosting. Now hosting is ready. It is just simple as this. The website can be accessed locally on our machine. Let us test our website. If you want to test our website, come here on the browser. Uh, sorry, on browse. The moment when you click on the browse, they'll load the website here in the web browser localhost port 777 let us wait a bit wow the website is now fully functioning it is now hosted on our web browser we can also try to navigate and we see if the api we coded is working do you still remember the url well that's good if you still remember it we have to navigate through this folder API. Inside API, there is this page called menu.aspx. And then we put this condition of the query string to get the API. So we have to say slash API slash uh, slash menu menu.aspx question mark format is equal to item list press enter it's bringing nothing i think i made a mistake somewhere i think it is let me copy this and i put it here and i copy uh, is the word item list correct oh it is get lists and i rub this one and then i press enter then bingo it is working now, guys, I think we are going to end here. We have learned how to host our website on IIS. Let us meet in the next chapter.